Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing a quick thank you card for teachers using a faux chalkboard effect, so let's get started. I'm using a sentiment from Thanks a Bunch and several images from Let's Get Crafty. I love that you can pull out the ruler, pencil, and scissors images for a school or teacher card. First, I stamp the Thanks a Bunch sentiment onto a panel of black cardstock with Versamark and heat emboss it with white embossing powder. Before stamping, I prepped it with a powder tool, which are the white zigzag marks all over the cardstock, and after embossing, I'll use a clean towel to wipe off the excess powder. Next, I use a blending brush to apply white pigment ink around the edges of my black cardstock. Chalkboards always have that slightly dusty look to them, and the white pigment ink really gives it that realistic look. After using my brush, I bring the entire ink pad to my paper and swipe the ink on randomly. This gives the impression of eraser brush strokes or missed areas of chalk. Then I set the panel aside to dry completely. I color my images with Copic markers. I use cool grays for the metal parts and then blue-green 10s and 49 shades for the scissors. Yellow 30s for the pencil with a little E50 shades for the wooden pencil tip, and R20s for the erasers and rulers. I keep my shading simple, adding the darker colors along the edges of the pencils to create the illusion of roundness. After I finish coloring, I die cut them with the coordinating dies. I decide to add a white frame to my chalkboard, so I add a little more pigment ink closer to the sentiment to make sure it will stand out. I blend some ink on with a brush and then swipe the pad on for more contrast. Then I use a heat gun to quickly set the ink. I adhere the white frame with foam mounting tape and then use a combination of regular adhesive and foam mounting tape for all of the smaller images. Off camera, I add a little Nubo crystal glaze to the metal parts of the pencils for a little extra shine. And that's it! You can find more information on the products I used in the YouTube description below or over on my blog. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in, and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye!